this is our Excel add-in and all we're doing here is choosing fields from our add-in to make them available for the pivot table. We start off with a few fields here. In reality there are over 1750 fields available for each subject. Once you have removed the add-in you're just dealing with an Excel pivot table. So if I wanted to look at sales by customer, it's just a matter of dragging and dropping the correct information. Maybe I want to look at the cost of goods sold amount. Maybe I want to look at this by customer by item or maybe item then customer. If I want to look, say, an out-of-the-box job costing report. So this one here, of course, we have estimated in actual, which you can get in QuickBooks, but we add the open PO, we got the payroll hour quantity, you've got what you've billed, you've got what you've received against that billing, and also what you still owe on the job. This is out of the box. This would take you five reports in QuickBooks normally. If you want a little more advanced example, you know, this is a bonding report. Again, this is done. It took us about 20 minutes to do uh, in Excel uh, pivot table with Cube. If you wanted a pinpoint layout, you might use Crystal Reports to do something like this. This is not something you would normally do in Excel. You could use Power BI. You'll notice over here the same fields. It kind of looks like the Excel add-in. And I'm just dragging fields. There's my time tracking. And I want to look at the job name. And create an instant graph. Or I could use something like Tableau that's got advanced analytics. You know, find out who's working on what job and what day. Inventory management. This is an example using a power pivot table with calculated fields to determine how many days that are on hand what the reorder point is using the Excel built-in KPIs and of course you can use the slicer or commonly known as a filter it's an on-demand filter uh, that's used in a pivot table or a power pivot table. If you want to do financials you know balance sheet profit and loss the cube add-in uh, as you can see has um, everything put together for you in terms of well this month previous month you know last year month etc cetera, etc cetera. year to date percent of sales this is how you'd get started you would go to the cube add in and if you want to know how the subject area is organized this is the tool that can controls our database and it controls what companies are loaded what information is being loaded and how often it's being loaded. This is the manual refresh option that allows you to update the latest data. So Excel is talking to Cube and Cube is talking to QuickBooks. So once you know what subject area you want, you can choose one of the pre-built examples here. And this is going to look uh, similar. We're just going to pick one company here. Here's the add-in. You can get very granular. We can bring in the document type, say the reference number. I take away the Excel add-in. I'm just dealing with cube. So if I brought in the document type and the reference number, and I brought in the transaction date, you see I've got down to the line item granularity for just about anything. Nobody has this a level of detail available in any other tool. Okay. There are also some advanced examples in the con configuration tool. You'll see that we have shells available for everything. So you never start from scratch. All you do is open up one of these examples here and you're off to the races to get it started.